Up next, John, we have singles action. Oh, boy. We have one of the best talents on the roster today against Seth Rollins. Oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. What is up, console superstars, and how are you all doing today? I'm hoping you guys are all having, if not going to have, an excellent day and night. And once again, we are facing Seth Rollins. I repeat, this isn't really a new matchup we're doing. We have faced this guy a bunch of times. We're facing him right now in the WWE main event. Just last main event, we faced Kevin Owens. And then the following week in SmackDown, we faced Kevin Owens again. So it's just been really surprising to me that we haven't had much of a variety in terms of, let's say, the opponents that we're facing. But this match against Seth Rollins, to me, is probably my favorite match out of all of them. And it's because something special actually happens in this match, which I am definitely not going to spoil until the very end where you guys will see it for yourselves. So right there, he did a nice little reversal on me, hit me in my stomach. But you guys know about my steel labs how they're just so strong that you know i take punches for a living there just to like train so he tried to flip me over or at least put me on the ropes and do some sort of move there but instead i decided to actually flip him over the ropes and send him out to the mat with a punch and you guys know me my punches are like one punch man now i don't know if this talk necessarily makes them get up but as soon as i always press it it seems like the opponent always gets up no matter what so right here, as I have always previously stated, Seth Rollins is a very acrobatic wrestler. If I had this guy as, let's say, my tag team partner, I would be pretty happy because I could tag him in. He could jump up on the turnbuckle and probably spin like a helicopter and hit whoever we're facing in the head. I mean, look at that. Who can do a backflip and land on someone's chest? Only Seth Rollins. Unfortunately, I had to hit him from behind right there. But we go back to when we are inside of the ring and we get another tap out situation which finally it seems like I learned the ropes and know exactly what I'm doing. As you guys can see I was able to actually tap out or maybe it was just because my body wasn't let's say necessarily yellow or necessarily red that I was able to tap out much more easier. I did the finisher right there and I said instantly right after the signature move i don't know why i keep calling it finisher i decided to do the finisher which this is apparently my finisher the other one's the signature move so i did both of them and i expect seth Rollins to actually be out i mean come on man i just dropped you on your back and then dropped you on your head you should be suffering from a concussion but seth rollins he's just so brolic that he just doesn't give up no matter what so then we get a tap out situation against seth rollins and right now i'm spamming the buttons i'm like yo i can actually do this i can actually do this and i'm thinking that the blue is towards my side so i thought i was making him tap out and then later on i realized that i was actually losing the tap out match against him so his head is red completely and that's a good sign for us especially because we have heard from previous comments that seth rollins rarely ever bleeds from his head so one of the biggest things that we're trying to accomplish or we have been trying to accomplish the last few times we faced him is basically just making him bleed and if we can get to do that that would be pretty awesome but he ddt's us right there a pretty nice ddt honestly speaking he has some pretty cool moves pretty cool skills i think that i'm gonna probably have to work on seeing how to get different skill moves etc trying to see maybe if it's from vc that you get them or from a certain option if you guys know which option just comment it down below but as you guys can see he's running to the ropes he hit us in the head he's like Rey mysterio in my opinion and then we start focusing necessarily and directly on his head just trying to make him bleed right there gave him an elbow like seven times and then finally we actually got him to bleed so he's right there leaking from his head as you guys can clearly see i hit him with an uppercut just to make sure i finished the job and then i taunt him up a little bit to help our stamina 
And as you guys can see, that taunt always gets them up. I don't know why. And then we decide to finish him off easily by doing our finisher. And now that he's bleeding from the head and blood is all over his chest. Like this dude is having the bloodiest match he's probably ever had in his life against us. And with that, we end today's episode. So if you guys like the gameplay and commentary, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. If you have not subscribed already, make sure you do for more WWE 2K17 My Career. And as always, guys. Have a great day and night, stay positive, keep on grinding, keep on smiling, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, console superstars.